I want to start from the beginning, you know. Who is Charlie French? I was born in St. Louis in uh, 1926. I moved to Santa Monica, California. Went to high school there, went in the Navy. Eventually went to college, became an aerospace engineer. Every weekend, I realized that I was either skiing or surfing, and I was never home. Decided to move to Sun Valley, and that was in 1970. Edward Scott hired me to help develop the ski boot that he had just bought. I put a pair on and flexed forward and they broke. We ultimately ended up throwing away all thousand pair. Two years into the ski boot, we started a ski goggle. I was working in Hamburg and I ran into Bob Smith. He filmed me skiing in powder in Kitzbühel for a Barrymore movie. And every turn, the snow would come up your thighs and fill up your goggles through the vents in the bottom. Smith says, we ought to be a better way to make a goggle. And I said, it's simple, we'll just make a thermal lens goggle. Next day, he and I went out and bought 20 Carrera lenses and cut the centers out of all of the two and laminated a lens together. And walking to the bond, the goggles fogged up. And then at the end of the winter, he said, what do we do with the goggle? I said, you take it, I'll never do anything with it. So. That's how the Smith goggles started. Scott decided they wanted to do it, so they paid him a royalty for each goggle. I mean, we've got goggle patents, we've got boot patents, we've got all that. And in most cases, they don't mean very much. The arrow bar is one of the few patents that, that nobody ever got around it. Boone and I were coming back from a bike race one day, and, and he said, I've got this idea for some, some handlebars. So he made this set of wooden bars and we went down south of town to um, Timmerman Hill. We rolled down Timmerman Hill side by side. We got the bottom, we were dead even. Put the bars on his bike, rolled down again. He was about six bike lengths ahead of me. Put the bars on my bike, I was six lengths ahead of him. So that was our wind tunnel test. The first two pair that were ever used in competition I used in the Ironman. I won my age group and set a new course record. Two or three years, the, the triathletes all used the bars. No bicycle racer would use them. Boone went to France and uh, convinced uh, Greg LeMond to try a pair. LeMond was about 30 seconds behind a, a French guy, Fignon, and uh, Greg beat him by land on what it was like 15 seconds at the end. And uh, that was the start of the bars for the bike racers from then on. Now I look back and it's some of these things and I go, wow, that's amazing I actually did that. The amount of effort and time and that went into something and, and you go, geez, I did that? You know, it's, it kind of surprises me.